They make absolutely perfect sense. So, alhamdulillah, uh, that's a great start. However, uh, one factor that I saw that was relatively missing in the conversation, and which is very, very relevant in the, in the U.S., is peer pressure. Yeah. Right? Um, I want to ask your, your thoughts about the effectiveness of the, the, these techniques in presence of immense peer pressure. Because you keep doing certain things, certain things, you implement them, and then, you know, it, the peer pressure comes like a flood, like it, it washes away stuff, right? All oh, right. I, you have discussed all those things, but what about peer pressure? Suddenly, I mean, it, it happened, you know, I, I go to Europe very frequently and uh, this question was, is asked almost on every discussions. Yesterday also, what was the name of the mosque we, we, there in the uh, yesterday? Sexy mosque. Sexy mosque. There also this, exactly this question was asked and I, I repeat the question that we have a mosque in our house, we pray five times and all of us have got all those skills which are to make a child a really Muslim identifiable child. But what about when a six years old daughter, I mean, I'll be very frank, comes and say, my friend has got a boyfriend. And suddenly, you know, soil just slips out of our, under our feet. That what she's talking about. Or maybe talking something which is very obnoxious. That's what we are saying. My response to that is, and I will exactly repeat what I said yesterday, that outside this mosque, there is heavy raining take place. Heavy raining and snowing. And we want that that rain has to stop because my child has to go out. The problem is you don't have any control on the rain. That is what peer pressure is. Now, now what, what we can do? We cannot stop that rain, but we can buy a very strong raincoat for our child. We can give him long plastic boots. We can buy a good umbrella and good gloves. And now that child can go out. And when we are talking about parenting skills, this means giving them that raincoat, giving them that protection. And this protection is a, pro just imagine your six years old child has got a conscious awareness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Like Hazrat Abdul Qadir Jilani had, you, 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 you know the famous story. When you know her mother said, you don't ask food from, uh, from me because I can't give you food, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives the food, right? And you know, once and she used to put you know food there underneath the underneath the praying carpet, and once she forgot it, and the child just when he came and he was not hungry and mother was worried because now she thought that her iman will be disturbed. So he said, "From where you ate?" He said, "As I used to eat daily." <laughs> you know, you know how he said, "Allah subhanahu wa taala gives me daily," so he gave me today as well. Now this is that raincoat. You imagine. If our child is, has got a conscious awareness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, do you think when he will go out and someone is smoking, do you think he will start smoking? No. Because he will have a very strong understanding of it. However, I am not denying it because we are weak human beings. Even if we do all those things, still there is a chance that there will be a temptation. What to do? For that, since time was very short, but for that, for example, if your child or my child just comes and tell, look, Baba, everyone was using ice. I thought I should try it. I also had a puff of ice. And he tells you, you are doing a good parenting. Which means now your child has got a confidence that even if I do something wrong, I'll tell to my parents. So if parents develop this type of parenting skills, that whatever happens to the child, child has got a full trust on the parents and he will tell you now you have a control and you can talk to the child and now you can bring it to the discussion and now you can mend it. And what we do is when we become very strict with the child especially before the age of seven our child starts developing a distance from us and we think that we are very strict we are not letting our child do anything wrong but we don't know that if something wrong will happen with that child because of that, now he's not going to tell you. So my response is twofold. One is, most likely if we strictly follow the principles. By the way, these principles I wrote, you know, read it in books written by the cognitive psychologist from the West. But I can tell you with 100% responsibility that all of them can be traced to Uswa Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. These are not something which were actually 
invented by the west psychologists although they worked hard and this is why they just surfaced it but they are there in the principles of uswaf nabi and companions of me i gave an example yesterday hazrat i can tell you a story dear sisters and my daughters hazrat fatima razi allah taala anha was in her home and that home was not like a big bungalow you know their, their homes were small homes and with the short walls you know not very tall ones and if someone is talking inside someone going in the street can listen and hazrat bilal razi allah taala anhu was walking there in this you know outside and he he just noticed that she is busy in doing some cooking and hazrat hasan razi allah taala anhu is crying he was a baby at that time so hazrat bilal just offered hazrat fatima razi allah taala anha that if you like you can do the cooking and i can just hold hasan so that you can do cooking you know what has uh, fatima said he said if you want to help me please you help me in cooking but i'll look after hasan this is priority if the priority is between a job and grooming a child so someone else has to do a job i will do the grooming so this is just i gave you an example all of these things are there in uswaf nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam and anything everything which i have told you i can actually relate it to because time was very short so i my brother your question is very valid if we have got a strong strong you know strategy to inculcate these four basic principles which i have discussed most likely it will be a very minor thing for your child to resist that but in case even if he is tempted if we are good parents and we have not lost our relationship with a child which is another part of parenting skills and that is only possible if we don't put our children into stress why you didn't have a seven star whereas your cousin has got seven stars and we start putting a pressure on child all the time and he is always worried that you know baba will be angry mama will be angry mama will be angry because i didn't wake up properly i didn't clean my bathroom now this is the child when he will have a first experience of smoking he knows when he will tell my baba i'll be slapped on my face maybe you cannot do it here but at least you know something very harsh now this is the one and when first time he said baba i had a smoke and you slapped on his face which means which does not mean that he will stop smoking which means inshallah he will not smoke but he will not let you know now <laughs> right so this is the i hope i answered the question uh, so this is how we handle the peer pressure sister have question yes yes sister i'm so pleased to see two of my daughters my students they they were students in qaid azam medical college mashallah sister has yeah. wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah please explain the creativity tool that applies for older age for teenagers okay right thank you very much uh <coughs> again there's a problem with the time constraint but actually the whole parenting can be divided into three segments segment 1 is from day 